you'll see and hear firsthand. This kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Thank you very much. Have a nice place. Thank you. Bye bye. Once again, we have arrived at the airport too early to drop off our bags. We have 30 minutes. Hot tech. Smooth. I'm gonna guess this one. I hope it's open. Where'd she go? Tara. I have coffee. All right, I'll do a quick circle of lounge and point out the highlights. It won't take too long. First highlight. Uh, mediocre food selection, fish tank, tables, chairs, tables on top of chairs, and one TV. The coffee is excellent. That's the biggest thing this lounge has going for it. And to be fair, we're pretty spoiled. Thank you. Please fasten your seatbelt while sitting. We have made it into Greece. We just landed in Athens. And fun fact, this is our 40th country. Our Airbnb this week is awesome. It's unique. We'll call it that. <laughs> We got the metro ticket. We're waiting on the metro. It is freezing. Our bodies are used to the 85 degrees and sunny Cyprus weather. It's just really windy right now. It's really not that cold. It's probably like 60 degrees and really windy. <laughs> we'll survive. I'm surprisingly awake for three hours of sleep and two cups of coffee. Holding up pretty well. We'll probably crash when we get back to our Airbnb. 
fell asleep twice during my podcast on the plane. Next station, Corfu. I've never been so excited to meet an Airbnb host before. His name is Tolis, and he's very nice. So the metro ride took us like almost an hour to get here. We're now on the street where Airbnb is, which is the same amount of time our flight from Cyprus to Greece took. You think I clicked the Olympic Airlines one? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Huh? We stayed in a lot of Airbnbs, but this is our first themed Airbnb. Oh, okay. <laughs> it smells so good. Thanks, man, because this sweet on. So, at what point do we need to put the life vest on? <laughs> is, is there an alarm that will sound? <laughs> she said to me, I'll have this and it's worth it. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> so, Tolis was awesome. He showed us around the room. He has all kinds of crazy Olympic airway stuff. We'll show you when we get back. Tries. Yes. Thank you very much. And he brought us down to the street and showed us some things that are nearby. And he brought us to this restaurant with the most delicious looking food. And I think we even get special treatment because we're friends. That was incredible. It has honey mustard. I have a feeling we're gonna come back here. Our place is literally right there. So the Airbnb is themed after Olympic Airways, which is a Greek airline. He's been collecting Olympic Airways stuff forever. And he even has like vintage stuff from the 60s and 70s. Like this blanket is from business class from 1970s. This is a pillow from business class from the 90s that he took. This is the vanity kit that business class would get back when it was owned by this like trillionaire, which is insane. A life vest just in case it floods in Athens. A captain's uniform, all kinds of guides, business class slippers, super old amenities that he told us not to use because they would probably be harmful since they're so old. And that about wraps it up. What a unique Airbnb. Also, he told us our room is called the cockpit. <laughs> so the whole reason we're in Greece is to meet up with our good friends, Jordan and Julianne, from back home, but they don't get here until tomorrow. We're gonna end the vlog here, which is probably the earliest we've ever ended a vlog. But we did start at like 4 a.m. this morning. The rest of the day won't be very exciting. It'll include a lot of laying around in the cockpit and then probably washing some clothes and getting ready to spend an awesome week with some of our best friends. Probably the greatest shot of my entire life. Seems like a good way to annoy everybody in the airport. I don't feel like my hair is I like it. Isn't the ponytail so much better than the bun? Oh gosh, Alec, you gotta open your eyes. Embrace the tiredness. I'd say we've flown on a good like 20, 30 flights this year. Give me your best spiel. If there is a sudden change in cabin pressure, a mask will drop. Please put the mask on your face before helping others. This will be found under your seat. You pull it out. Put it over your head, pull the string on the right hand side, and you can manually blow up. In the unlikely event of a water emergency evacuation, if you're in the exit rows, please say yes. <laughs> nice. Why were you British? I don't know, but they always have an accent. <laughs> I never pay attention to these. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think this is supposed to go in between your legs. I think my arms are supposed to go through here. I think you would die if we ever crashed in the water. This is the incorrect way to wear your life vest. <laughs>